You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And we'll be reading from the English Standard Version. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of the darkness. So let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we might live with Him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, Encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not despise prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. Brothers, pray for us. Greet all the brothers with a holy kiss. I put you under oath before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to be able to read it together today. And Lord, we're grateful that as we look at this portion of Scripture, we're encouraged to avoid all forms of evil because you have made us children of the light through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. You've called us to be patient with one another as a reflection of your patience. You've called us to encourage one another as a reflection of your encouragement. And you've called us to be people who work hard in what you've entrusted to us to oversee. You want us to be faithful stewards. And you want us to rely on your power in all circumstances of life. So, Lord, we're grateful that you grant us your strength. And we pray, Lord, that in whatever circumstances we find ourselves in, whether they be pleasant or whether they be difficult, that our faith in you would be strong. And that our joy wouldn't be tied to our circumstances, but that we would rejoice in you regardless of what's going on at any given time in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the challenges and the admonitions were given from this portion of Scripture. And thank you for this new day. We commit this day to your care, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's episode is being sponsored by JobsForPastors.com. If your church is in the process of searching for pastoral leadership, be sure to post a listing in the directory at jobsforpastors.com. It's free to use and can be a very effective way to connect with excellent pastoral candidates. So visit jobsforpastors.com right now 
and get your church job opening listed today.